Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing detailed instructions for posting form data from Vue.js to a Laravel API. Vue.js is a popular JavaScript framework for building user interfaces, while Laravel is a PHP framework used for web application development. By combining these two technologies, we can create powerful and dynamic web applications. In this tutorial, we will walk through the process of creating a view. JS form component and using it to post data to a Laravel API. We will cover important concepts such as routing, handling form submissions, and making HTTP requests using the Axios library. By the end of this video, I will create a Laravel project and install views. Tailwind CSS in with commands you can see at screen. The detailed instructions for setting up views in Tailwind CSS. I have video tutorials and detailed explanations. You can find it on my channel. Here I will go quickly through the initial project initialization. I will start the server with PHP Artisan Sir and NPM Run Dev. Next, I will remove the default Laravel elements at the welcome blade. Next, I will link the CSS and JS to the welcome blade for their component and tailwind. I will create a component form info and embed it in the welcome blade. I will now look for a pre-written Tailwind form and use it for this tutorial.
In the form, I will manipulate an input select category. Option data will be retrieved from the database and displayed on select. I will create a categories table and insert some items for the selection. I will perform a query that retrieves all the categories table data from the database and passes it to the welcome blade view. From the welcome view, I continue to pass the categories data to the component form info views. Next I will get categories from prop and use feed for to display options in select box. I will create a form data for storing the data of the input cells. Later I will call Axios and pass the payload as a form data and push it to the backend for processing. I will use vModel for handling input when changing. The V model is a feature in view. JS that enables two-way data binding between a form input element and a view instance property. This means that changes made to the form input element will be reflected in the view instance property and vice versa. I will create a button, 
When this button is clicked, the form will be submitted with Axios to Laravel for saving data to the database. Okay with V model. When input changes data will be changed in form data. This is an async function named submit form which uses the await keyword to wait for the response from an asynchronous Axios post method call before continuing. The Axios post method is making an HTTP post request to the API create endpoint with the form datum object as the request body. Once the response is received, it is logged to the console using console log and the reset form function is called to clear the form. If an error occurs during the Axios post method call, the catch block will catch the error and log it to the console using console log. I will create a controller to handle the request sent from the API. At the route API, this is a route definition in a Laravel web application. It specifies that when a user sends an HTTP POST request to the create URL path, the create method of the home controller class should be executed. I will DD request submitted from the front end at function create. I have received the input values. Now our job will be to insert this data into the database. I will create a customer's info table to hold the data we insert from the form. At home controller I have create function. This is a PHP function that creates a new record in a database table named customers info. The function takes a parameter of a request object, which likely contains data submitted by a user via an HTML form. 
The function uses Laravel's built-in database query builder DB to insert the data from the request object into the customer's info table using the insert method. The request all method returns all of the data submitted in the request as an array. Once the data has been inserted into the table, the function returns a JSON response with a status key set to success and an HTTP status code of 200, indicating that the request was successful. Now I will try to submit the form. OK status is returned as 200, so my form has been successfully inserted. I will check again at database. This is a function called reset form which resets the values of an object called form data. The form data object contains properties such as first name, last name, content, category, and zip. By calling reset form, all of the properties of the form data object will be set to an empty string. This function could be used to clear a form or reset the values of an object to their initial state. data has been inserted. My simple tutorial is done. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.